The blade clamp on your recip saw is one of the common parts that will wear out over time. A worn out blade clamp will often not hold a blade, or might allow the blade to slip out occasionally. The blade clamp kit includes all the parts you need to rebuild the blade clamp. Replacing the blade clamp is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the shoe from the saw. I'll remove the retaining ring that secures the clamp. With the retaining ring removed, now I can remove the collar. I'll twist the cam a small amount so I can remove the pin. Now I'll remove the collar, the sleeve, the spring, and the backer. With the old clamp removed, now I can install the new clamp. To assemble the clamp, first I'll install the backer. Then the spring fits through the slot in the shaft. I'll install it so the post on the spring is on the top. Now I'll install the sleeve. I'll line the hole on the sleeve with the hole in the shaft. Next, the cam. I'll install the cam so the notched out portion is facing away from the saw. There's a small notch on the back of the cam that I'll align with the post on the spring. I'll rotate the cam around and again make sure the hole in the sleeve is aligned with the hole in the shaft. With the cam rotated and the holes aligned, I'll install the pin then the collar, and last I'll secure everything with the retaining ring. And I'll use a blade to test the clamp. I'll slide the shoe back into the housing and tighten up the screws. And that's how easy it is to replace the blade clamp kit on your recip saw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.